There is forensic evidence showing what data was changed, where it came from, and where it was going to. That means there is direct, solid evidence of voter fraud. I think there are any number of things they need to investigate, including the likelihood that 3% of the vote total was changed in the pre-election voting ballots that were collected digitally by using the Hammer program and a software program called Scorecard. Hammer and the application that works with it called Scorecard is designed to change votes on the fly as they are reported by tallying locations in all precincts and counties, whatever applies to your state, as totals are reported via the internet, the data is grabbed in real time, changed, and sent on its way. Here we are before the update, and now I'm going to start walking you forward. Watch the gold. Here comes the update from Clarity. Boom. There it is. So now the update Matt Bashir, uh, excuse me, Andy Bashir has 674,508 votes. And look down below, Andy Bashir had 673,948. They haven't had a chance to update the ribbon because this is in split seconds we're looking now. And this happens in microseconds. Andy Bashir has just gained 560 votes. That makes sense. That's what happens as more votes come in, right? Let's look at Matt Bevan. He did have 662 to 35 at the exact same second that Andy Bashir has gone up 560 votes. Matt Bevan has gone down 560 votes. This is vote switching in the computer. That the data is changed so quickly in the favor of whatever candidate it, it, it's, it's told to favor that no one notices a delay and just accepts the total. And this has been going on in numerous states to include battleground states during this whole election. And it is still going on as votes are being counted and reported now. This evening, lawyer Sidney Powell, the personal attorney of General Michael Flynn, and someone who is known to the President of the United States, appeared on Lou Dobbs this evening and reported this fact. That would have amounted to a massive change in the vote that would have gone across the country and explains a lot of what we're seeing. In addition, they ran an algorithm to calculate votes they might need to come up with for Mr. Biden in specific areas. I think that explains what happened in Michigan, where the computer glitch resulted in a change of votes of uh, about 5,500 in favor of President Trump, just in one of 47 districts. All those districts need to be changed for that same, quote, software glitch, end quote, that would change the result in Michigan dramatically. Um, the same thing is happening in other states. We've had hundreds of thousands of ballots mysteriously appear for uh, solely for Mr. Biden, which is statistically impossible as a matter of mathematics. It, it can all be documented. We are putting it into materials that we will file in federal court, and we need to seek relief in multiple states to enjoin the certification of any election results. And she added the fact that data has been obtained from the whistleblower who built the capability, Mr. Dennis Montgomery, who is a national hero in this matter, having made this data available. There is forensic evidence showing what data was changed, where it came from, and where it was going to. And a record is kept. That means there is direct, solid evidence of voter fraud. And by the way, between the 560 gain and 560 loss, you have just seen 25% of the loss amount of this race happen in front of your very eyes.
Uh, we just heard from John Solomon that the FBI indeed is being diligent, is involved, and we all hope he is exactly right. If all this wasn't enough, in Antrim County, ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans, causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. The county clerk came forward and said tabulating software glitched and caused a miscalculation of the votes. Since then, we have now discovered that 47 counties use this same software in the same capacity. Antrim County had to hand count all of the ballots, and these counties that use this software need to closely examine their results for similar discrepancies.